Riverside County is leading a new initiative to bring major infrastructure upgrades to communities in the eastern Coachella Valley. As News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco reports, the first in the series of community meetings are being held to inform residents about the proposed changes. Cindy Anderson is among several community members hoping to see much needed change in the eastern part of the valley. I've been coming out to the desert area since I was a teenager, which is a long time ago now, um, and the development that's taken place is, is frightening, actually. She doesn't currently live in the valley, but she has ties here that bring her back. Anderson owns a piece of undeveloped property in North Shore that's been in her family for more than 40 years. We don't have any utilities attached to our property, and so I was hoping that this would mean that that, that would become available to us. But I realize it's, it's probably not going to happen, and I also think that it's going to take a very, very long time anyway. Right now, Riverside County is developing a plan to improve the quality of life for East Valley residents. Under the initiative called ECV Prospera, the county would establish an enhanced infrastructure financing district, which would set up a fund using only tax dollars from Riverside County. If a district is established, the funding would act as another tool to pay for the expansion of qualifying projects like water lines. Silvia Paz knows firsthand the need for clean water in communities like Mecca. The water lines did not run near um, the mobile home park where I lived. So that's been, um, again, an issue that existed then and continues to affect many families uh, today. Other much needed infrastructure the plan would fund includes utilities and telecommunication, transportation infrastructure, salt and sea improvements, housing, and community facilities. Baz says the focus right now is getting to a point where a district is formed. Once that funding mechanism is established, I think we're farther along than ever because at least we know there's going to be some money generated from our communities for our communities. In Mecca, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3. A series of three public hearings will take place between now and September so residents can share their priorities with the financing authority before a final infrastructure plan would be formed.